One could wonder why they're still holding the same the secrecy level today. And in, in my opinion, the arguments are not nearly as strong as they were in, in 1942 or so. But there are still some good technology reasons that we do not want our terrorist enemies to have advantage of the latest technology. So that's a reason for keeping secret the details. Basically, I did protecting missiles from aerodynamic heating by using Teflon, for there's a Nike Zeus. I developed techniques for discriminating reentry vehicles from decoys provided by the Soviet Union. I managed the research and development program of the company, and I applied advanced technology to the International Space Station. So I had a, a really fun career. I got exposed to my boss, who was in charge of the research and development, and he said, I got to give a briefing tomorrow. I got to tell the Air Force how we go to orbit and back in 10 years hence. And how, what, how should I, what should I tell them? So I, just as a joke, I said, well, Ray, why don't we tell them how the alleged UFOs do it? And he said, hey, that's a great idea. Why don't you work that out? So that's when I read my first UFO book. And after I'd read three books, I decided this was a, a real hobby. And then I read 50 books. And after a while, I wound up going to my management and telling them, you know, you're not going to believe this, but the UFOs are clearly coming from someplace else. They clearly manned or humanoided. And the only question is whether we're going to figure out how they work before Lockheed or after. And so as a result of that, the company at that time, which has now, of course, been bought by Boeing, over several years put in about $500,000 worth of research effort under my direction to study gravity control techniques and uh, also analyze UFOs. Uh, we hired Stan Friedman and he was very, very effective. We hired uh, some, a police detective to interview witnesses, abductees, and we had experimental work and theoretical work. So it was kind of a fun project. And that's kind of a long answer to the question of how I got involved in UFOs. One could ask you, well, why do you need to keep secret the fact that we're being visited by multiple races, which is actually is, in, in my opinion, the case. It's more than just one or two. It's yeah, half a dozen or so. Um, why do we try to keep that secret? And, and the answer is, I think that there's a, a group of people, maybe renamed, called the Majestic 12 Committee, that, that meet in some chalkboard in the Pentagon every so often, perhaps maybe not in the Pentagon. Maybe they don't have access to the Pentagon, but then they put all the reasons why we should tell the public on one side of the blackboard and all the reasons why we shouldn't on the other. And for the most part, there's more to lose by telling the public than by not telling them. Because if you tell the public part of the story, it's like the onion, the, the public is going to ask, well, when did you start to keep this a secret? You know, is it really true that you assassinated this person and that person? And what are your deceptive techniques that you use today. And it may turn out that we have people in charge today who are using those same techniques to keep the public in the dark about other topics. I won't mention which other topics, but <laughs> there are a lot. <laughs>